What is happening all you badass YouTube peeps? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today. We've got something really awesome for you. We've got a scan tool selection here for you. We're gonna be talking scan tools that the average at-home DIY guy can get his hands on, how they work, how they hold up to each other, and how they're gonna turn out and give you the best bang for your buck. So I know you guys as mechanics, you have a whole lot of different visions when it comes to needing scan tools or some kind of a code scanner for the cars that you guys have. Whether it's that budget of 10, 15, 20 bucks, or you're even looking for doing a whole lot more and spending that three to $400 range. Today I've got a range of five different scan tools from five different companies that sent me a couple of their tools to be able to test and give you guys a good idea of the range of uses that they'll get for you guys. So for, you know, how much money you guys wanna spend comparatively. I've got things from the Audu, OBD code reader here from like the $12, $15 range all the way up to a launch handheld scanner that's gonna be right around $400. So let's get going into the lowest line scanner for you guys. So the first scanner that we come to is gonna be this one from Audu. It is an OBD2 diagnostic interface. It actually uses a Wi-Fi signal that it puts out as soon as you plug it into an OBD2 port. It will put out that signal, use your smartphone or tablet or whatever uh, Wi-Fi enabled device and you will connect to its Wi-Fi. The downside to this one is they don't actually have their own software, so you have to use a third-party software. You can get it from the App Store, whether it be Google Play Store or Apple, you know, or whatever device you have, but there are so many different apps that you can get to use for these Wi-Fi style code readers. A couple of the ones that we use, um, you can download them for free. However, if you want to use very many of the actual functions that this will do and, actual, and actually show you, you will have to pay for that app or that service. So say we plug this one in, it is an OBD2 interface that actually only will uh, interact with the PCM or ECM in most cars. It will not do ABS, it will not do airbag, anything like that. So at a retail price of $14.99, it's really not that bad of a buy. If you add on the you know, four or five dollars in cost for the other apps that you have to get to do the full function that it does, then you're looking at right around $20. Depending on how much function you want is how much you're gonna spend in the app. You can spend anywhere from $1.99, $2, all the way up to $5 subscription service per month if you wanna use it on a monthly basis. You know, if you do an at-home garage or something like that. So you're looking at between 14, 15 and 20, 25 bucks for this kind of code scanner, which, you know, if that's for you, then that's for you. It's the easy one. You don't have to have another interface. That's what you have with your cell phone. You can use it anywhere you go. Now on to the next one. The next one that we come to in our list is gonna be this little code reader, code scanner, eraser tool from Autmore, A-U-T-M-O-R. You can find this one on Amazon for around $19.50, right around there. So at about the same function as the Wi-Fi OBD2 port that we just saw, this one is gonna be an all-in-one unit. So you won't have to have a cell phone or anything along those lines. This is gonna do just about the same functions. So that's why I will be plugging this one in to show you the functions that you will just about be seeing in the last product as well. I've got the good old Duramax here, and we're gonna be plugging that one in, and I'll start showing you what this thing can do. So for the first test, we're gonna use the Duramax and I'm going to plug it in and I will give you a general speed test of how long it takes this thing to boot up. So I can get her plugged in there. 
So, there we go. Plugged in, and we're going to enter to scan, waiting for connection to the vehicle, the VD2, and within five seconds, it's got the codes found, how many monitors it's got to tell whether they're all okay and everything like that. So it's only got two buttons, enter and to scroll down, you can read codes, erase codes, view freeze frame data, ready re report monitor, vehicle info. So we can look at the VIN number, calibration IDs, blah, blah, blah. Previous menu. So we're gonna go down to I am readiness. So we see our mill indicator status is off. Uh, misfire and fuel system monitor, they have not had any issues. Catalyst, EVAP system, secondary air, EGR system, EVAP. So it actually reads quite a bit. So that is the code scanner from Otmore. And like in the other one, you can read codes, erase codes. Yes, erase. And it's just as simple as that. So for under $20, you can have this single all-in-one handheld code reader code scanner. If you were to have codes, it would uh, read the code number and small detail below it. And we will show you that real quick. So now I have purposely set a check engine light and we're going to read the code. We have a PO107, manifold absolute pressure, barometric pressure, sensor circuit low. So it gives you the DTC number, generic function, and what the description of the code is so you don't have to go and uh, look up what a PO107 means because nobody really remembers all those anyways. There we go. Simple as that. That's how that scanner works. Very simple, very easy for the DIY guy. So the second scan tool, or the third, I should say, scan tool that we come to is from a company called Ansel. It is their AD410 obd2 plus can functionality scanner reader so we're going to plug this one in and see what this one does see how long of a boot up time we have is very little boot up time it comes up right to obd2 we're going to scan that mill status is on it shows that dtc's in the ecu all of these streams supported. We are going to read the code. We are on current DTCs. Shows our PO107 manifold absolute pressure, barometric pressure, sensor circuit low. General circuit failure. If you were to have more, you'd be able to scroll down. So we will exit that. And you can also see pending and permanent DTCs as well. I like the fact that this one has a color screen. This one is able to do a little bit more. You have your IM readiness monitor, plus you also have some data stream and freeze frames as well. We've got O2 sensor tests, onboard monitoring, EVAP system test, and the general vehicle information just like any of the other ones. So we will go back into this and I want to see the data stream for this. Hmm, we'll see how many of this actually has. So we have coolant temp, map, RPM, vehicle speed, intake air temp, mass airflow, which we're not going to read because that one's unplugged, OBD, PTO status, which one this one doesn't have, runtime. Uh, mill, EGR, warm-up time, barometric pressure, vehicle pa 
the power, lambda pressure, temperature outside, accelerator pedal position, and fuel type. So this one has quite a few more PIDs and live data feeds that you're able to read. I like that one. So for this price, you know, I'd say this one was really good. It's able to give you quite a few more little options. Test is not supported in this vehicle. I'm sure we'll run into that quite often, you know, with a diesel, you know, since they really don't run much evaporative emission systems issues on these. O2 sensor test, also not going to have on this vehicle either, so that's a no-go. So all in all, that's a really neat little code scanner, code reader. Able to, the readiness, setup, DTC lookup, oh that's a neat function. So you can look at the P and U codes. Cool, so we'd be able to look that one up. Oh, if you have recorded data, it'll be stored in there. Any and all DTC data. Pretty cool, guys. So that one is from Ansel. So that's a good midline scanner for you guys. If you wanna be able to see some reports, see the IM readiness monitors. You guys are more in tune to what your vehicle is doing and what you want to see it doing. That's the functionality of this scan tool. We will grab the next one and see what the next one up has. So now I'm moving on to our fourth scanner. This one is the cheaper version of uh, Snap-on. It is the Bluepoint EECR2 code reader scanner. Uh, this one does ABS function as well. DTS, DTCs, I am readiness monitors. So we'll hook this one up and see how fast this one boots. Auto links detects the protocol. Link to CAN network. So this one's a little bit slower, but it pops up the DTCs right away. PO107 map sensor. You're able to scan through to any other codes. So you've got the pending and the stored mill light. If you want to, it has a an erase button right here on it. You don't have to scroll and find the erase function. So it has a couple of more function buttons there for you. So you're able to erase, erase successful if it were to do that but I know the code is still there, so all we have to do is hit the power button again. It rescans the vehicle and finds out that you still have an active code. If you were to have an ABS code, you'd be able to hit the ABS function where you can then view enhanced DTCs, which are more of like uh, manufacturer specific DTCs that may not show up on a standard OBD2 scan, the ABS DTCs, vehicle info, and other settings. So it knows it's a GBM ABS. We have a code in there for a C0035 ABS right front wheel speed sensor fault. Scroll through our ABS codes. Those are the codes we have in there. Will it clear them? It is able to read and clear all ABS codes as well. So a little bit more functionality there for you. Um, throwing it in there in the middle. This one is in the range of about $120. So it steps up the price a little bit, but also the functionality of it as well. Backlit screen to it. We're going to go back to the DTC functions once it reads through. And we can view our enhanced DTCs. Current mill DTCs, failures, history DTCs, So I wanna see our vehicle info now. Vehicle ID, available modules. Not really much there. 
So we have our cat conditions, O2s, if it were to have some, EGR, air, EVAP conditions. So that's our readiness monitors. And then here is our readout functions. Load percentage, coolant temp, map, RPM, vehicle speed, intake air temp, mass airflow, input, runtime, fuel pressure, command EGR, EGR air percentage, barometric pressure, ECU voltage, ambient temperature, accelerator pedal position. So really the inputs and the PIDs that this one's able to read is just about the same as the last two. The only difference that this one has is a couple of the extra buttons and quick functions to it. So you're stepping up for that and you know kind of the name of the blue point snap on as well I think. But this one is a really good scan tool. I've actually had this one and I've used this one for the past year and a half, two years. So it's really good and it's really uh, always been there for when I need it to. Uh, always able to take it out onto the lot, clear codes, that's really easy, it boots up really fast, and you're able to scan and clear codes a lot faster than having to wait for our factory scan tools to do so. So that is the Bluepoint EECR2 handheld scan tool. So the fifth and final scan tool that we're going to come to is from a company called Launch. They're a little bit bigger company, they put out some nice, nice scan tools. This is going to be their CRP429 handheld scan tool. It's going to have quite a bit more functionality, but it's going to come with a price tag as well. This one's going to run you right around $399, $400. It's got quite a few more functions in VinScan. It's able to connect to Wi-Fi. It's got a touch screen. So we're going to get into this one and show you how many more functions this thing's going to give you for that extra price tag. So we're going to plug this one in here and it's going to immediately do a VIN scan on the vehicle. Pulls up my VIN number and we're going to start a system identification. In a little bit newer vehicles this would be able to auto ID and pull up everything normally. This one being a little bit of an older vehicle you will have to put some input into it. This is a Silverado four-wheel drive, pulls up the VIN. Yes, it has automatic transfer case, dual zone, auto HVAC. Radio doesn't matter because I have an aftermarket one anyways. This is over 8600 GVW. And then it's going to be doing a full system health scan report. If we didn't want to do that, we could back out and we could just go into an OBD2 function. But I want this thing to go through here and I want you to see the functionality that it does right off the bat. So if you were to have this vehicle come into your shop and you wanted to just do an, a general scan of the whole vehicle, you let it go, do what it needs to, and it's going to scan every single module that it has a, the availability of seeing in your vehicle, record all the codes, and then it's going to give you a vehicle health report at the end. So it takes approximately two to three minutes to run a full vehicle scan report across all of the modules, and it really does read every single module. So it's going to scan and it's going to save this scan report all of the individual codes that are in each individual module even the ones that don't have any codes, it scans it and saves it in there. So this is actually saved into the scan tool and then you are able to just have it in here for future reference or you can share this. This, as you notice up here, does have a Wi-Fi signal. It does connect to our local Wi-Fi and you can share this and send it to any email with a message or even a customer's email if you want to send them their full vehicle scan report as well. It includes the voltage and everything else. So a full vehicle scan report within a couple of minutes is a great upsell for a customer. You're able to see their whole vehicle electronically. Okay, so we will get out of this and we are back to our home screen. 
The really cool thing about this one is going to be all of its reset functions. The really quick things that you want to be able to get to. So we're going to go over to our reset tab. This is able to reset brake pad wear indicators on the vehicles that have that. Oil change reset, that is the biggest one. Rather than having to look up online and find all of the oil change resets, you have to hold your left tongue here, push this button, turn this key, whatever. This is the way to manually reset the oil change indicator or it will tell you how to do the manual functions on the vehicle as well in some applications. Able to do steering angle sensor resets, battery resets after you've removed and changed the battery. It does ABS brake bleeding, a really cool function. But I think one of the best ones is going to be our diesel particulate filters. It's able to do general regens something that is awesome these days especially when we're talking about all of the after treatment exhaust that we have the diesel particulate filters get a great soot buildup and we need to do regens this can do that another really awesome function is going to be our skim and key functions this will program keys in a lot of vehicles and manufacturers you will still need to get a pin code of some kind to be able to program those keys but this scan tool does have that functionality and the last thing is going to be injectors. When you put injectors into diesels or direct injected motors, they are code with a, coded with a certain code for their pulse width and how they are their uh, flow rates. So this is able to program the diesel injector flow rates. So really awesome functions that everyone is going to need for, especially if you have a whole lot of customers coming through and you want to get those quick functions in. So we are able to read data of the vehicle and we can go to our find your data link connector for whichever said vehicle, the diagnostic report, and then this has the stored reports of all the vehicles that I have stored on here. So I'm just able to bring up any of the old vehicles. It has quite a bit of memory in this one. I've got five or six vehicles stored and I've used about 2% memory on it. You're able to look through the DTC library, scan through and find any kind of scan tool or codes that you are wanting to find. Just for giggles, let's look through PO700, transmission general control system failure. So, and brings up all of the description for that. All of our firmwares, frankly last questions, and then we can go into our OBD2. It's going to scan the vehicle again, the protocol, okay, and then we can read all of these different things. Here are readiness monitors, which we've already seen on this one, um, our live data, it, this thing reads a whole lot of live data. So all of the available data, we are able to click on any of these as well. And we see them on their own graph. So I, if I don't want to see and read all 37 of these at the same time, I can find that. And then I can also look at this and the uh, the graph as well. So that's a pretty cool function. And it is able to record as well. So we will go back to the home page. This thing as well, since we are connected to Wi-Fi, does upgrade as well over the Wi-Fi, is able to upgrade each individual manufacturer so this thing also does so many manufacturers everything from Citroen Chrysler Audi all the way down through Subaru Suzuki Volvo Volkswagen and everything in between I have not had a vehicle yet that this isn't able to scan and read and do at least the basic functions of in all, this is a very powerful scan tool, something that a great shop is going to need to have in their arsenal. 
Here at the bottom, we've got hard keys for everything else as well. You're able to download, put things into functions. You're able to do a screenshot. It takes a screenshot if you were doing live recording data and you want to see that moment. It takes that one, takes you to your questions. The vehicle monitors your VIN check again, take you back to your home button, back button, up, down, scroll, power to, to turn it off. And that's our scanned diagnostic reports, the quick function key to that. We were in our diagnostic session there. So a whole lot of functions. Now I've been talking with a couple of the guys at launch and they are gonna have a new platform to where some of the shop owners and other of these Gear Plus customers are gonna be able to go into kind of like the uh, the Snap-on sharing community where the they can put their known good fixes for certain codes that come to those vehicles. They can put them on an online database to be able to share between the community as well. So that is coming in the future. They've put the software in this one, so it will be there on future updates and versions. You can change your settings from, from sound, network. So this thing is a very nice, powerful scan tool as well it should be for the money. So this is the Launch CRP429. So these are the five that we went through. And just to give a quick overview, one more time with the prices, we have the OBD2 quick scanner uh, that just diagnostic interfaces in through its own Wi-Fi. That one's gonna be around $14. The Automore, this is the standalone you're not having to use your cell phone for this one does the obd code reading in engine only and reads and clears codes that one is right around twenty dollars the ansel 8410 this one has the um, color screen reads abs reads other um, scans has pid inputs this one's right around 45 dollars step up to the blue point eecr2 uh, backlit, not color screen, but backlit, um, has a couple of more button functions, ABS codes for sure, uh, different manufacturer specialized codes, DTCs clearing, also just as many PIDs, if not more. This one was right around $120. I know it's a bit of a step up, but then to the launch CRP429 full color screen, touch screen as well plenty of hard keys to go to the saved functions that you really uh, use most often, saves di diagnostic reports, and connects to Wi-Fi to be able to email those reports as well, as have all of the other reset functions with the injector coding, uh, the oil change reset, steering angle sensors, etc. I could go on for, you know, another hour about that thing, but I would have to say this is by far my favorite but that's because I work in a shop and I need these functions on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, whether you need those functions or not, that is up to you. If you are the DIY guy who uses your cell phone here and there, then you can spend you know, 15, 20 bucks, get a scan tool reader like that. If you wanna read ABS codes, you're gonna be in this range, or if you just wanna be able to see your codes whenever you need them, that's going to be your auto more little handheld scanner all in one that is our lineup i hope you guys learned something from those also these companies were awesome enough to add in some discount codes for their scanners as well make sure you check out the description down below i will have those listed there they're anywhere from five ten percent to forty dollars off the launch scan tool. So a big thank you to the companies for hooking us up on that one. Well guys, that's about all I've got for you this evening. A big shout out to all the said companies that I've gone through their scan tools with. They were awesome enough to send me some of those to do for testing and to be able to show you guys what kind of products they have out on the market and hopefully give you some insight on what they are able to do. Whether you are the guy who needs the cheaper scan tool or you're got your you've got your own little business and you need something a little bit more powerful these are the things that you guys are going to want 
At least that's what I'm hoping for. Hopefully you learned something today. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you go and check me out over on Instagram. I have a Facebook page as well. This Saturday, don't forget about the giveaway. I'll put the link down in the description to, for you guys to get hooked up on that one. But the live stream for that one, I will be giving away plenty of more things as well. So you're gonna wanna tune into that one. It's going to be this Saturday, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So again, thanks and you guys stay awesome.